Welcome to the Floral POS. In this video, we're going to go over the new gift card manager. Um, a lot of our florists have requested this, and so we went ahead and put it in our program. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of run through the gift card manager and show you what it does. And uh, at the end, we'll kind of show you, I'll run through the, hit, the gift card history and um, even how to take an order and all that good stuff. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing I want to show you, um, if you go into control panel, there's a new icon down here on the lower right hand side called gift card manager. If you click on that, that actually shows you two tabs, add funds and history. Add funds allows you to add funds directly to the credit card or to the gift card. Um, this is basically how you would like add funds outside of a, an actual order. So if you're doing a promotion, and you wanted to take a bunch of gift cards and charge them up with some with some money you do it here um, of course you'd need a password to do that uh, which is our admin password and the cool thing about this is you can actually swipe the credit card or I mean the gift card uh, right inside of here and it'll pull the history of that card too um, as you can see as I swipe this one it says no transactions on this gift card which is fine um, also if you go into history same thing we can swipe the, the card there and it doesn't show nothing came up and this allows you to actually search for the history, find you know, any credits, any debits against there. You can also search by transaction date. So we'll come back to this uh, once we take a couple orders. So I'll go ahead and close out of here. Uh, the next area I wanna show you is just really inventory. Um, I really didn't add the gift card as a mandatory field. So it's up to you guys to add this yourself. Uh, main thing you have to do is uh, the item category or the item name needs to say gift card. Uh, that can be lowercase or uppercase. Um, that the actual system will recognize the gift card in the shopping cart and allow you to charge it right in the order. And I'll show you that in a second. So again, in the inventory, um, we're not making this a mandatory field. You don't have to add it, but if you want to use gift cards and you want them to, uh, you want to be able to charge or um, add funds to the gift card during order entry, you need to add this item in here yourself. So let's go ahead and close out of here. Let's take an order. So I'm going to go ahead and do a walk-in. And I'm going to type in GIF for gift card and hit enter and it brings up our gift cards. And I'm just going to hit the little add button and watch what happens when I click add. So as I hit add, it automatically adds the gift card into your shopping cart. As you can see, it has zero dollars in there and the actual cursor is flashing in the swipe gift card area. So if you had your little uh, swiper, which is basically your uh, same swiper used for credit cards. That's why I was kind of saying credit cards there before. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swipe the gift card in there. So it automatically puts the gift card's number in there. And it actually did a search and says here, new card, add funds. So if you were to swipe this card and there was already funds on here, it would actually let you know that there was funds on here. This is saying new card, add funds. So we're going to go ahead and say we want to add $50 on here. And then I'm going to click on the little plus and that's going to charge this card or add $50 to this gift card. Add funds to card, yes. As you can see, the this actual area went away. And down below, we can see we have a gift card. Here's the gift card number, and we have $50 on there right now. So now we can continue to shop. We could add roses or flowers or gift items into the shopping cart and cash out. We're going to go ahead and cash out now. And let's say they gave us uh, cash for this. And accept payment, and we're all done. So, kind of neat. So now we actually have a gift card that has money on it so that somebody could take the gift card, give it to a loved one or whatever. They can come back into your shop and use it. Now let's go back into our control panel into gift card manager. And if I was to swipe this card right now, either in history or in add funds, you're going to notice that it's going to actually pull up all the information about this card. And there we go. You can see here that... Uh, we actually put credit onto here, or we added funds, 50 bucks. It, to it tells you here who uh, who actually put the funds on there, and it actually tells you what order actually put the order the funds against here, which is nice. Um, if I go ahead and go back in there again, look, just look at the history area of this, you're going to see that um, it kind of goes through and gives you a rundown of each thing that's happened today, just in gift cards. So if you guys did a bunch of gift cards today, either um, sales. Uh, of gift cards or you guys actually did sales against gift cards um, they're all going to show up here 
I'll show you that in again, again in a second. Let's go ahead and close out of here. And let's go ahead and take an order against the gift card. So we're going to go ahead and do a delivery. Some roses. And we're going to go ahead and go into our money button area. Now, if you notice here, we have a little extra area that I've added. We got tons of areas, but I added here, use gift card. So I click on use gift card right now at the moment. It doesn't automatically, as before, if you go like the donation or on account or check, it automatically put the funds there. But in this example, we actually don't put the funds there. You hit use gift card and it actually moves it to here. So it's kind of a neat little situation now. So we hit use gift card. Now we can swipe the gift card. And it says here that you have exceeded the gift card funds available adjusting payment. So what it did is it automatically knew that, you know, there's only $50 on this gift card. And our total balance is $59.39. So it automatically adjusted the gift card amount to $50. And now we can, re we can actually pay for the rest with cash if we wanted to. Click on accept payment and we're all done. Now if I go back into control panel, back into my gift card manager, and into history, you're going to see that there's actually two different transactions that happened today. There was a credit of 50 bucks, and there was an order purchase of $50. Kind of a cool thing, right? And you can kind of search for, let's say you had a bunch of credits you want to look at, you could, you know, click on credit, click on search, and it's going to search for just the credits. And same thing, search for all the debits. Also, if we go into this area, we could swipe our card and it'll let you know what happened with this card today or whatever or the other day. We also, since we've added gift cards, we had to add areas in the end of day. So if we go into our end of day area, you're going to see an area here for gift cards. And you certainly can just click on this and it's going to show you your gift card information. Now let's say that we actually need to remove one of these transactions. Um, we've made it pretty simple to do that. So let's say that we're actually gonna refund this order. All you have to do is go inside the order itself and click on the delete payment up top here, clear payments. Are you sure you want to delete this payment? Yes. It says here it's deleting the gift card debit as well. Now if we want to go, go ahead and delete this order, because Maybe it was a refund or whatever. You're going to notice that if we go back into our gift card manager, that that debit is now gone. And if we are going to use this card, or we want to see what the what funds are available on this card, we could just swipe the card and it's going to let us know there's 50 bucks available on here still. Pretty awesome. That's basically the new gift card manager inside the Floral POS. Um, if you guys have any questions about this um, gift card manager, please give us a call at 888-865-9768. And um, yeah, we definitely would welcome feedback. If you guys find any bugs with it, let us know. But I think that we've done a good job getting this out to you guys. All right, have a good day. We'll see you. Bye.